Great. So let's talk about um, Tracy, Tetragon, and Falco. How are they different? Which one is better? Bad news? Neither. It depends on your use cases. Let's see what's unique about each tool. Falco is an intrusion detection system. It has an advanced and configurable um, detection rule engine, and it has lots of predefined rules, which is exactly what you would expect from an IDS. Tracy collects tons of different events, tons, more than anybody else. And Tracy's unique capability is in its data collection for forensics. If you want to collect memory, network files, VPF code, it does that for you. Tetragon is a low-level programmable toolkit. So you get to decide what you want to get from the kernel. It's super powerful. It also has kernel-level actions that you don't get with the other tools. So what kind of events do we get? Uh, for Falco, it's mostly syscall events. And it has others, but it doesn't matter. It has trace, tracing, uh, trace point events, but they're not the same as the uh, eBPF trace point events. You can ignore those. Tracy has many different types of events. Syscall events, network events, uh, security events, LSM events, container events, etc. Though the LSM events are not really eBPF hook-based LSM events. They use K-probes for that. Tetragon has dedicated process events um, and by, enabled by default, and it also has a bunch of other events for the uh, tracing policy program, trace point, K-probe, and U-probe events. Th these are the kind of uh, event types you can program. You define the YAML policy, and you select the, uh, the hooks that you want to um, install. All three tools rely on BTF, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that is and uh, what it has to do with uh, uh, portable eBPF programs. And um, there's a way to make it work with um, um, four-point X kernels, but usually if you start with uh, kernels 5.4, which you get with Ubuntu 20.04, you're, you'll be good with Tracy and Tetragon. Um, and for Falco, with its modern eBPF driver, it has two. It has the legacy eBPF um, probe, and it has a modern probe. And the modern probe needs kernel 5.8 because it uses ring buffers, which are awesome, um, and, um, uh, but it's stuck with that uh, version of, um, of the kernel. So how do these tools use eBPF? Falco has a, a modern eBPF probe, like I mentioned, and it also has a legacy probe. And the modern probe uses new BTF-enabled tracing uh, eBPF programs um, uh, and uh, instead of traditional raw trace points. And the great thing about those is that uh, you get direct memory access to the data structures. You don't need to use uh, BPF helpers. Uh, so you get faster code um, and uh, more clean code, more, more maintainable code. Uh, and like I mentioned, Falco's modern ABPF probe uses ring buffers uh, to take advantage of the uh, performance and memory uh, utilization improvements. Uh, Tracy has more eBPF hooks than the other two tools. Uh, predefined hooks, uh, and it also has the most straightforward um, uh, eBPF code base. Uh, Tracy uses perf event buffers for backward compatibility. Tetragon has dedicated eBPF hooks for the process events, and then a whole bunch of generic hooks for trace point, K probe, and U probes, because it uses these generic uh, trace point, K probe, and U probe eBPF programs that are configured at runtime based on the policy. Um, now, in terms of the libraries, uh, Falco uses libbpf, which is the standard uh, uh, BPF library in the kernel, and it has its own libscap library for system capture. 
Um, and Tracy uses uh, libbpf as well, and its own, uh, actually it's a separate library, but uh, it's a Go wrapper, libbpf Go. And Tetragon uses the pure Go Cilium eBPF library, so if you're into Go and you need pure uh, Go code without C Go and uh, C code dependencies, that's the way to go. Um, there are different uh, designs in each tool, and because of that, they use different eBPF hooks. The modern eBPF probe and Falco uses mostly the BTF enabled uh, raw trace points, like I mentioned, and pretty much nothing else. It has generic uh, hooks for sysenter and sysexit. Uh, Tracy has a lot of predefined eBPF hooks uh, raw trace points for sysenter and sysexit to collect the basic syscall information and dedicated tra raw trace points and k-probe hooks for process lifecycle calls, lots of k-probe hooks and uh, security function co uh, hooks. Uh, instead of using uh, LSM eBPF hooks, it uses k-probes, so it's kind of cheating, but it provides a lot of hooks there. And Tetragon mostly uses uh, programmable trace point and uh, uh, k-probe uh, hooks to get its uh, uh, job done with uh, the programmable uh, YAML uh, tracing policies. And that's pretty much it.